Good day, children. Let us continue with the chapter, The Battling Boats. So far, we have read that Kari Charan 1 has been sabotaged by Kesavan and his friend, Onni. Kuttan and Sukumaran have seen the holes that have been made by Kesavan and his friend, Onni, at the bottom of the boat. Kuttan is shocked and decides to go home and tell his father about the whole incident. On reaching home, Kuttan is unable to tell his father because he thinks that father would worry about the incident. After he has had his evening meal, Kuttan decides to tell his younger brother Vasu about the whole incident. He speaks softly to Vasu about the incident as he did not want Amma, their mother, who is sitting nearby, to hear about it as she might also get upset. Vasu is shocked to hear about what Kesavan has done. Then Kuttan has an idea and he jumps off the swing on which he was sitting, causing Sukumaran to tumble on the ground. He excitedly whispers his idea into Sukumaran's ears. Sukumaran brushes himself and gets up. Twenty minutes later, the three boys set off quickly. Vasu carries a lamp, showing the way to where the Churilins were tied. Soon they begin their work. Vasu climbs on top of a tree on which he sits. It seems to be a place, a dangerous place from where he might even fall. But that was his duty. He had to keep an eye to see that no one comes. Now Kutan gestures him to be quiet. Kutan and Sukumaran enter the boat and set to work. It takes them half an hour to do what they wanted to. After that, Vasu quickly climbs down the tree and the two climb out of the boat. They smile at each other and go back home. Next morning was the race in the town of Aleppi and thousands of people had gathered in their bright festive colours. You could see a riot of colours all around. Kutten wore a new crisp dhoti and got ready for the race. The sound of traditional dances of Kerala that are Thayam and Kathakali could be heard and crackers sparkled in the air indicating that the boat race was about to begin. To start the race, three gunshots were fired in the air and then the race began. The two boats surged ahead, thirty men rowing together. Kari Charanchu was surging ahead and the loudspeakers were blaring loudly announcing that Kari Charan too is leading the race. Kutten heard this. And then suddenly Kutten heard the loud, loud voice from the loudspeakers announcing that something was wrong with Kari Charan too. It was slowing down. Water was filling it. And then it stopped. Then Kutan heard the announcer say that Kari Charan 1 was leading. It was moving towards the finishing line and it had won the race. The 30 crew members jumped out of the boat, jubilant at the victory. They hugged each other. Sukumaran and Vasu ran up to Kutan and chuckled with delight, saying that the expression on Kesavan's face was worth seeing. The joy of the boys were beyond description. They jumped up with delight and hugged each other. Vasu exclaimed that it was a wonderful idea to change the numbers and position of the two Churarans, that is Kari Charan 1 and Kari Charan 2. As 
they went by Kesavan and Unni. The other men, who was in the boat, when they made the holes in it, they could see them standing still in a state of shock. Their conspiracy had failed. I am sure this must have taught Unni and Kesavan a lesson that one should not conspire to win. Children, here we also see that Kutun was a clever and intelligent boy who foiled the plan of his rivals in the boating race by changing the number plate and the position of the boats Kari Charan 1 and Kari Charan 2 and thereby winning the race on his Churalan, that is Kari Charan 1. Okay, children, that finishes the chapter. I hope you've understood. A worksheet will follow. It will be given out as an assignment. Complete the answers carefully and keep it in your file so that it can be checked later when the school reopens. Thank you.